It's your brother and servant, Russ Michael Ra'a. Glory to the Most High Jah, Rastafari, the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, for the Lord our God is one. For in all things we do, we acknowledge, we praise, we honor, we glorify, and we revere the Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in complete core quality, who have been revealed in the new name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, revealing our Church of Philadelphia and our rightful place as temples, and our rightful place as pillars within the Temple of the Almighty. So we give thanks and praise unto the Most High Jah, allowing the Holy Spirit to testify on our behalf that we are children of the Most High, fully worthy to receive the new covenant in all its empowerment, all of its glory, and all of its full salvation in the age of the kingdom. And in the age of him, the age of his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, so I want to testify of the truth, testify of his truth. For his truth is our salvation. His truth is our cleansing blood. His truth is what wipes away all of our sins. For it's not our righteousness, it's not our works, it's not our deeds, but it's our receptiveness to the gospel and to the word of truth and to everything that we receive through Jesus Christ. For He is our salvation. He is our advocate. He sits at the right hand of the Father, advocating and, 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 and giving Him word on our behalf, testifying for all of our shortcomings. And it's the Holy Spirit that advocates for the Father, testifying to us all those things that are pleasing to Him. And I pray that it's the Holy Spirit that connects us and brings us into fellowship just as it has been the Holy Spirit that has revealed to us the core quality of the Father and the Son in His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the First so let's uh, I pray everybody as usual I pray we all have our have our manifest kadus on hand I want to go to John Chapter 14, verse 6. And like I said before, we just want to testify of the truth. And everything we do, we testify of the truth. Because when we speak, everything that comes out of our mouth shall not return to us void, but shall return as a blessing. I believe that's Isaiah 55 and 11, or, or one of the two. I could be wrong. But the words that come out of our mouth shall return as a blessing. So we have to testify, and we must affirm our relationship with the Holy Spirit um, uh, let's read uh, John chapter 14 verse 6 and Jesus says unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man comes unto the Father but by me so we have so many so many who, call, who consider themselves Rasta who always speak of repatriation Christ is explained here he is the repatriation Repatriation means to return to the Father. But who can return to the Father but through the way, the truth, and the life? That is Jesus Christ. There is no repatriation without Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our King, and our God, to whom we've been servants, but we are now friends. He considers us now friends. Being friends, we know all of his mysteries. We know what he does and what he has done and what he is doing. It's the blessing of being a friend and no longer just a servant. For that, for, that, for that mystery has been publicly disclosed to us in His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. Let's go to, uh, let's go to John chapter 8, verse 32. And here, here Christ testifies of, you know, our freedom. And to and 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 in which form of fashion we can appropriate our freedom, uh, our freedom in spirit and truth. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now this is this is Christ testifying of His good news, and His good news is the 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 sonship offered to the children of men. To the sons and to the daughters, to every tribe, every tongue, every nation, every people. 
It is the good news offered unto us. The salvation. The salvation. Right here in the red. Salvation in the blood. The revelation of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. And the gold of the kingdom. Unto the green of the new earth. So this is all of our blessing right here before us. You know, he is our banner. He is our banner. He is our righteousness. All we need to do is hold him up. He is our banner. All we must do is hold him up. All of the revelation is right there. All of it's right there. So let's go, uh, let's go again. Let's go to John chapter 10, verse 10. And, 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 and this testifies of our abundant life. And it testifies of the work of the enemy. And it shows us um, our, 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 our kingship. And it also shows us um, what we have up against us. And knowing what we have up against us, and knowing that, that what is up against us is also up against Christ, to show us that we are truly, truly children of the Most High. Chapter 10, verse 10 of John. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I, I am come, that they may have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. So when we take part in the things that reveal our abundant life, we, we edify and we secure the word of Christ and the good news of his gospel when we testify of our abundant life, not just in tongue and word, but in action and deed. When we take action and we take deed and we share of our testimony with our fellow man and we bring ourselves in fellowship with those who have a fear of the Almighty and bring ourselves in communion with those who have a love for Christ. These are the things we do when we wish to affirm the goodness of his gospel, the goodness of his word, for he has not come to steal, but he has come to give to us. It's the thief who has come to steal and to kill. So when we take part in life, we take part in receiving what Christ has brought to us because this is the creation of Christ. And here I go, you know, y'all, checking my time as usual. This is the creation of Christ, that we can have abundant life. That we can have discernment to recognize the difference between a thief who has come to steal, kill, and destroy. And the discernment to recognize the abundant life that has come through Jesus Christ. And not just the ability to recognize the abundant life that has come through Jesus Christ, but the ability to testify of it. And for it to be revealed unto us through the Holy Spirit that will show us our divine salvation, revelation, and glory. For just as at the end of our prayer, when we pray to the Almighty, we all testify, as Christ taught us when we say, Thine is the kingdom. Thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the glory. So you see how it's always a trinity. The kingdom. Jesus Christ comes through the blood of Christ. The power, which is the power of the Holy Trinity, revealed through the gold of the kingdom. And the glory, which is the green of the new earth. You see how all these things are our, 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 breast, our blessed heritage that has come back to us sevenfold. And we got to give thanks and praise to all of this by standing and testifying in spirit and truth of the blessed empowerment we received through the gospel of redemption in Jesus Christ's name. Let's go to John uh, chapter 14, verse 27. <clears throat> peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So, so in Christ we are freed from inner conflict. This reveals the clear conscience that His Imperial Majesty spoke of. How important it is to have a clear and a clean conscience. For without a clean conscience, a man is not free. 
A man is not free at all. And that clear conscience comes from Jesus Christ. We are free, we are free from, from inner conflict. For he says that, that he, he will give us our peace, not as the world gives. Because the world gives peace like that. Oh, peace, son. Show you some love. Come to your funeral when you're dead and gone. That's the world's form of peace. But true peace is what, what enters within the heart. True peace is what builds one up that they can share with another. And that is true peace. That is the true peace that we have received in Jesus Christ. And that is the true peace that we should that we should be provoked to testify of and we should be convicted within our hearts of God's righteousness. And we should we should confess our sins before the Lord. As for forgiveness of our lusts, of our fornications, of our adulteries, of our lies, of our thieveries. For we are perpetually cleansed. We are perpetually cleansed through his blood. And if we would confess our faith in his blood, we would receive all the gifts of his full salvation. That we may appropriate the whole of God's word from Genesis to Revelations. And once again, we give thanks and praise unto the King of creation and his gift of full salvation. Glory to the Most High, Jah, Rastafari.